I grew up in a small town um, in Plainville, Kansas. And in a small town, you kind of play all sports. So I really just followed my older brother's lead. Um, he started out kind of playing football, basketball, track, everything like that. So that's really how I started. I started playing tackle football in about fifth grade. Um, and then I've been doing it ever since. Were you always like a big guy? Did you always like play another position or was it always just the offensive line? Coming out of high school, um, I was actually like 240 pounds and I went to Kansas State as a defensive lineman. I wasn't a natural offensive lineman in high school. I played linebacker. So did you have multiple offers from different schools? And if so, was it like just the, the aspect of staying at home that you wanted to play at Kansas State? I only had uh, one Division One FCS offer. Um, the rest were D2 offers. And I took a chance on myself and I walked on at Kansas State. Bill Snyder was there at the time and he has a long history of you know, producing walk-ons and getting them on scholarship and uh, really having great careers. So I took the chance on myself and actually I walked on there. What year did you earn a scholarship? I think I got it going into my fourth year um, was when I got put on scholarship. The first four years, you were more so just on special teams, with field goals. Most people in four years, especially in today's world, they would have they wouldn't have the patience. What made you stick with it with Kansas State? For one, I'm just one who kind of rides stuff out. And I'm gonna if I start something, I'm gonna finish it. But you know, a big the first few years were really just me trying to get up to weight. Like I said, I came in at 240 pounds. I went defensive line, new coaching staff. I worked out at tight end for a little bit. Um, it was important for me to stick around and see that through. Um, you know, I'm really thankful I did because it ended up working out. In 2023, you played in 940 snaps and zero penalties? Yep, that's correct. That's almost unheard of. In my game, I pride myself on the details. So um, a lot of that just comes with being technically sound, knowing what we're doing, um, understanding you know, the cadences and environments. Um, and it, it's just something I, I've always tried to be as disciplined as possible in my game, avoid penalties, you know, getting my job done, using the correct technique. So it's something that's really important to me. Um, I actually didn't know that statistic specifically until you told me, but that's pretty cool. Coming from my offense, I've done a little bit of everything. You know, I've done, you know, we have true outside zone teams. I've ran outside zone, mid zone. Some of my personal favorites are, you know, doing some of the center pull, which Jason Kelsey kind of made that famous this year. He's been doing it for a long time. I've uh, had some conversations with David Andrews of the Patriots about similar size. He uses his body to get to the second level. Kind of a more recent guy is Linderbaum out of Iowa. He's at the Ravens now. I think he's done a great job. And as you're getting prepared for the NFL, what's the preparation like as far as like physically yeah, so right now I'm down at X3 in Nashville. Um, I've been doing mock um, interviews, you know, even on my own, doing so much preparation, going back through my old college tape, understanding our schemes, and just trying to learn as much as I can. You know, when I come into a new team here, I want to be able to hit the ground running, have a good idea. Why do you believe that Hayden Gillum should be a starting center in the NFL? And there's no better resume out there. I've won a Big 12 championship. I've played with incredible consistency given up one sack in my entire career. I get it done in the run game. I really do win on a high percentage of reps. And I think that's what it's about. With my background, I'm really able to fit into about anything. You know, we'd run gap schemes, see gap power. I can cover a gap all the way back to the DN, get to the second level. Those are all things that I'm really good at. You look at my last five games of this season, I think it really stacks up as good as anybody coming out this year as a center.